Clemens Homebrew. Coming at you. With the 500th beer review. That's right, the 500th beer review. Jeez. <laughs> it's taken just shy of five years. We started in February of 2012. Dad's done a lot of heavy but drinking. But that's, that's <laughs> almost, that's almost a, that's like a, that's a, well, it's a few reviews a year. I'm, I'm gonna say like One every three right? and a half days. It's a hundred. It's one so every three good. and a half days is what All right. that is. So here we go. <laughs> it is the Abacus. Ooh. Abacus. All right. So. Woo yeah. All right, Christian, tell them, tell them about the Abacus, the history on the Abacus, okay? Ah, Abacus, which is also now known as Sukuba. Or Sukaba, Sukaba. <laughs> I've also it. heard it pronounced Succubus. Yes. So <laughs> the series was renamed uh, from Abacus after 2011 to Sukaba. This was due to an alleged infringement of ZD Wines federally registered Abacus, a uh, trademark used for a Cabernet Sauvignon. Right. That's what happened. I got to meet the brewmaster, the main brewmaster. So there's two guys who it's named after. After One guy's, the owner's is Firestone, the other guy's Walker. There you go. But the brewmaster that's been with him since the beginning of time is Matt Brindleson. And Matt is, he is a brewmaster. I met him a while back. And I was able to get the Abacus. This is 2011, and we love Sukaba. We love well. Who's your favorite brew, Christian? Firestone Water. Right. So, well, or Avery Brewing. Let's yeah, 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 yeah. Good, yeah, yeah. And of course, <laughs> we like our local one, Deschutes. Well, of course. But those are the top mm. three. And generally, Christian always talks about Firestone Walker. It's so, delicious. <laughs> so basically. I got to meet them last summer. Found out that all the bottles that they had on the premises, they removed the labels uh, because they couldn't have them legally on premises, but the ones that were in circulation still have them, such as this. So it's an English barley wine. It will go on the uh, shelves of fame in the room. It's an English barley wine at 13% ABV and 42 IBUs, and we're about to put this into our bellies. It's probably gonna be garbage. <laughs> I hope it's good. <laughs> Better be good. All right, here we go. We'll get it up. We'll show you the first pour, and then we'll fill the rest. It just comes out nice and syrupy. Look at that. Not much of a head, but not with a big one, of course. All right, let's get the it. others. He doesn't even like beer unless it's hops. He, just, beer. he doesn't like beer. He, he just likes rock. hops. If you could liquefy hops, that's what he Screw would do. Screw you and your wine. Wine connoisseur. All right, here we go. It's, you know, we had a small head that went to a ring. You can get a little bit back, but you know, we don't expect much. Well, okay, okay, so back. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got a little bit on okay, there. It just decreases on the way. No, I, got, the way I got no I got head. floaties because I'm off the bottom. I got floaties. No, there are floaties in there. There are floaties there. With age comes floaties. That's right. Beware of chunks. That also That's includes me. swimming because he does use floaties <laughs> in his old age. Yeah. It starts with floaties, it ends with floaties. Somewhere okay. between you lose. So in terms of the color, <laughs> it's like a mahogany brown or something like that, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. I don't care about color. I'm so, going for the so nose now. It's leather bound. It's all about the nose. <laughs> and it does have leather. Thank you. Ooh. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mm. And yeah. coconut. Yeah, I'm... Mm-hmm. Get and the I'm, I'm getting and like, toffee. I'm getting, like, dates and molasses right off the you top. Get, you get the barrel-aged smell to it. So while yeah, they're smelled like away, woody -oaky. I want to tell you some unique things about this particular batch, Super which is kind syrupy. of fun. So, of course, it's a British ale yeast that they use because it's an English barley wine. But Maybe as far as infection. barrel aging, they actually did some unique stuff back then. It's a blend of different barrel aging. They had some of it in Heaven Hill barrels, some of it in Four Roses whiskey barrels, and some of it in Old Fitzgerald barrels. So a lot of interesting and blended All these barrels. Influence. Super barrels. Now, now that it's starting to breathe and I'm swirling it, I'm getting a lot more of the cocoa coming out, actually. Yeah. Yep, and brown sugar. Oh. Yeah, I like that it's English. English. It's just a yeah. beefed up English. It is, and you totally get that too. You yeah. totally get on the nose that it's an English barley wine. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's not hoppy whatsoever. No, not whatsoever. And I actually prefer the English and the, the European because I'm not a hops fan, so yeah. I, living in the Northwest blows for me, but something like this is right yeah, up my alley. This is mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, so, I'm definitely getting some coconut, vanilla, cocoa maybe even going a, on, uh, some woody, earthy smell. Yeah, some, I even get some dark cherry going I, on. I get like Prunes, some dark fruits. I was in getting there dates because molasses. Yeah, think, yep. think it is. But I, I go with that. It's, with that, it has an overall syrupy figs. kind of smell to yeah, it, it though. It smells syrupy, which is toffee. odd. It's normally like a, a flavor thing that's syrupy, but, but it's it more toffee than caramel. But you get both. Yeah. 
and brown sugar. It's nice. This, this is a nice, complex, sweet smelling. It's, I'm hoping it, it tastes good. So cheers to 500. I think my mouth Woo! needs to taste it. Cheers. All righty. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Oh, wow. First impressions, Woo! first impressions. It's very sweet. sweet. It's It's got a coconutty, cocoa, vanilla, Toasted caramely flavor. It, oh man, that's just hitting all the notes that you were getting in the in the aroma. It gets that English taste. It's almost like an English super deep brown, like of what it is. But it's a barley wine, obviously. Takes me back to London, 1857. Oh, my my first impression. I just mm -hmm. had some Sukaba last week. Uh, I had the 19th and and uh, or, you know 2016 version, I should say. So, and it was just. You know, it's still big and really boozy, and this is so smooth. It's so mellowed it's out. Earth it's into it's it. got some booze, but yeah. it's not like a heavy booze. You know, no, it's, it's enough to give you kind of a like a little bit of a tang and bite on the flavor, but it's not going to knock you back. Like, whoa, alcoholy! It is so smooth and mellow. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know. For me, it's almost got like a slight bubblegum flavor. Out really? Of it. Like, <laughs> it's it's got like this sweet, like pleasant. Flavor and I—that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Wow, I can kind of get that, like a playful kind of light, fruity, sugary flavor. Yeah, I, I get can... a, a light ethyl alcohol taste. Yes, to it. yes. Of course, right. you should but, always have that. That gives it some of the bubbly mm -hmm. flavor. And I get I get a lot of like earthy and wood. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and oh, like charry old, tones, old wood. Yes, some char as well. But I get, get some old, a bit moldy wood almost. Not not ah. moldy, but. Uh, Wow. The British tea coming out in your beer. Yeah. But it's like super smooth. And the mm -hmm. texture is just like really silky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I wouldn't say creamy. It's silky it's, and it's smooth. Not creamy. Yeah. It's not thick. No. It's, it's a smooth. very light mouth feel and very smooth. Yeah. It's got a nice body. It just doesn't linger yeah. well. Yeah. Well, it's so interesting. I mean, what uh, uh, five years has done on this beer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is fun. You can pick out just as many flavors as you could in the aroma. Isn't but the you aroma. do get a slight leather on it if we haven't yes. said that. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's some leather in there. There's a bit of leather there. It's a little. But I still get, like, get, there I get tannins. I'm still getting tannins from the oak on it as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty special. It tastes it, like an old dirty English I think it balances it from the sweetness. It kind of gives you that earthy tone to it. As young as he is, he is kind of like an old dirty Englishman. Yeah. He is you very. Know? He's a very old dirty man. <laughs> many years of drinking have made me dirty. I don't even know where to go with that. So can't even so, speak um, English. So Turn um, German. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we need to get some numbers going and uh, if you guys are ready. I mean, this is an English barley wine. Who's ready to rate this? So it's delicious. It's thirteen percent. Did we tell you guys that? Yeah, Did we tell them it was forty two IBUs? Fantastic. It only tastes like twelve. Four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a ninety six. I really like. It for works. An English, for an English, I'm I'm gonna give it a 98. I think I go. think it hits everything that I'm looking for in an English. Yes. Probably more. And I'll, I'm going 95. I'm going the lowest, but that's. I like it when it's fresh and big and boozy, on a barley wine. Yeah, so, I think that's what it is. Is because we've had the <coughs> sukaba uh, when it's big and boozy, yeah. and that's what really fires me up yeah. and gets my engines I love going. Big and so, he likes scotch though, so, so if you're not looking for like something scotch. heavy, then this will be better <laughs> yeah, for yeah. you. But <laughs> so I think that's where my rating was a little bit lower, was because it's not blowing my mind. But now we're gonna go overall and get away from that and talk about it in general. I love that it's old and earthy and that it's totally hung in there. Now I'm going up to 98 on my overall. I'm staying at 98 on the over. I, I might almost go to 99, but I'm going to stay at 98. I mean, this has a wonderful earthy flavor. It's got the booziness, but it's not overly done. It's got a lot of sweetness, but then it's got some like oaky char. Like It's got all these things to balance it. It's, it's really well done. And see... I'm going down to 95 because I'm an American barley wine guy. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's still like in that fantastic range. It just might not be world class in my ratings because it's not as boozy. <laughs> so we appreciate everyone that's watched our stuff. Uh, this has been fun. Comes out to about a little over 100 a year. Uh, so we take our time. So here it is again. It is the 
Abacus, part of the Sukaba series, the 2011, the first one of the series from Firestone Walker out of Paso Robles, California. This is our 500th beer review. Thank Woo! you. Yeah. And uh, we're just saying life is too short to drink cheap beer. And we will see you on, on the, the next, next beer, beer review. review. I was waiting for it. <laughs> there are squirrels. Dick. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. Must kill. Uh, they're bigger than you are. <laughs> Those are some big squirrels.